In my previous video called October Price Outlook, I outlined two bullish factors that should be happening in October for gold and silver prices, that being the increased debt ceiling and also an announcement to not taper quantitative easing at the FOMC meeting. Now, here's an opposing viewpoint by Ira Epstein, who is arguing that even though they will not taper, because he, he says here that begs the question, do you see the Fed tapering in this environment? I don't. I don't see... I didn't see them needing to taper last month and frankly don't see any need to begin tapering process this year. So then he goes on to say how he's currently recommending people to go short on gold and also he notes today the New York Times writes the debt limit impasse could cause credit markets to freeze, the dollar to plummet and interest rates to rise precipitously. So he's basically noting how there's a lot of fear going on in the mainstream media. So ask yourself, why isn't gold rallying on this news? And he thinks that smart money believes that we're just looking at theatrics. If things play out too long, the end result could turn into a crisis, one in which gold should rally, but the market doesn't think we're at that point yet. He says gold has no bullish story other than the debt ceiling issue. Iran and Syria are no longer war threats. Inflation, as the government measures, is very low, certainly not an issue. So basically he is saying, therefore the bears have the day. Yes, there'll be, there'll be rallies, either because we get the point of letting our debt go into default, because other stimulus measures come into play or just